Hello there, everyone. Welcome back to Broly555 TV, and welcome back to my NCAA Football 07 series. Unfortunately, I could not live stream this series once again because of multiple reasons. The first one is that when I tried to live stream onto my kick channel of OBS, it didn't matter whether I tried it in 4K resolution or 1080p resolution, this sucker wouldn't let me live stream because my internet was just too shoddy tonight for some reason, which has never been an issue before, so I don't know what's going on right now with that. And also, when I tried to record offline in my 4K setup that I had configured and figured out made really good 4K footage on OBS, well, then that setup stopped working and I was getting crappy footage once again. So I don't even know what's going on at this point. So I have no choice but to use NVIDIA to record this game again, like I did in my last game against UCLA. But I did turn down the bitrate on it, so hopefully the video file will be much smaller than it was before when it comes to the footage. So with that being said, let's get right into the action, shall we? So it's been an interesting week in terms of games, but the Gravy Man, oh, oh, did he ever show up in week nine. He was going up against undefeated number four Utah, who came into the game on an 15-game uh, winning streak. They had national championship aspirations, I'm sure. And the gravy man was all over them from the start, and he just poured it on until he ended up beating number four Utah 86-33. to Utah's star running back lived up to his billing as he had 25 carries for 136 yards, and he also caught three passes for 92 yards and a touchdown. But Pat White, well was Pat White. He ended up going 15 to 23 for 382 yards and I think he had five or six touchdown passes to go along with 21 carries for 129 yards and one or two rushing touchdowns. So Pat White had himself a day once again and it was quite special to watch. And the Gravy Man has now won four in a row and he's starting to build up some real momentum as we go through this season. I, on the other hand, have a road game against Wazoo, who I think is the last place team in the Pac-10 right now. Uh, I'm the number two team, and because number one Ohio State lost this week to Iowa, 48-10, to I'm going to be the number one team next week if I beat Wazoo today. I have the nation's best offense, and I have a solid defense filled with a strong front seven. And Wazoo, well, they're not very good on either side of the ball. But let's go ahead and actually play this game, shall we? Uh, I'm going to go with this look. And for them, let's see what they can get. Alright, well I guess that's their home look. Alright, well, let's get it on like Donkey Kong, as they say. Alright. Oh, they're missing their starting, uh, a center who's a 78 overall. That might be their starting center. But yet, we got to bring our A game. Just because these guys are bottom of the Pac-10 does not mean they can't compete with us. Like last year, I thought I was going to steamroll Wazoo, but they actually came out and gave me a game for a half before I ended up routing them anyway. So yeah, cannot sleep on Welcome these guys. Brad Nessler here for EA Sports with my co-host Kirk Herbstreit and the coach Lee Corso. The fans have dressed in layers, and we'll see some cold temps for the Oregon Ducks and the Cougars of Washington State. We're all set to bring you more exciting football as the bowl and national championship pictures start to take shape. And here come the Cougars. The Cougars really have their work cut out for them today here, Kirk. Oregon should win big, and chances are because of their passing game, they're going to be able to make some big plays downfield. Jay Will, best receivers in the nation, best receiver in college football. So tough to beat. You're absolutely right. I'm picking the Oregon Ducks. Lee, that thing looks really good on you, Coach. Anyway, let's set it down to the field for the coin toss. Oh my, they won the toss. 
They want the ball first. Okay, I like playing defense first. All right, here comes my defense on the, the field. Are lining up for the kickoff. We're just about set to get this one underway. Boom. Gibson fields it at the three. There we go. Nice now job, we Harley. See how this quarterback can do today as he comes out onto the field for the first time. Well, guys, most of the hype surrounding this game has revolved around this game-breaking tailback. Oh boy, wait till you see this kid. This kid is a heck of a player. Yeah, but he's gonna go running backs. I hate those. Better linebacking core. I think he'll run all over them, Kirk. Let's see how he does. Throws this one out to the right. Nice. And they Good coverage, the boys. Gibson was the intended target on the play, so that'll make it right, second, second down. Attempt. From their own 12-yard line. Come second on, down. D. Let's bring the pressure. Washington State lines up with three receivers. He fires. Oh, it's complete. Geez. Brought down at the 27-yard line. They pick up solid yardage there. Yeah, nice little pitch and catch. Yeah, Wazoo's a mid-level passing team, so they're capable of airing it out on and me. And the quarterback was able to get him the ball for a good pickup. Yeah. Look at the throw. Throws it out there. Jeez. Boy, Come on, boys. In there. Yeah, he's you're right. There's not a whole lot of quarterbacks out there that can make this throw. He delivers this one right where it has to be. Great arm strength. Three wide outs here. On play action. Rolls right. He throws it. Intercepted by number 40. Wow, what the hell is that quarterback looking at? Throw from the quarterback. It didn't look like the quarterback even saw the Yeah, you, you show off area. your amazing face the right features there, pal. The right time. Wow, that was quite the play. Wow, <laughs> he was even stumbling into that pick. That's hilarious. That was just an awful read. Let's see if we can get Remini Alston going, well, though. This is a great place to start the drive on the opponent's side of the 50. Single set back to you. They go with a run. Jeez. No. Nope. And down he goes at the 37 yard line. Nothing gained on the play. Let's see if they give me this one. Second, Second down. No. Gosh darn it. Oregon sets up with four receivers. Back to pass. Wants to throw a screen. Jeez. Uh, Nothing gained on the play. Man, Wazoo's defense is coming to play. Third they line up at the 37. It's third down. The Ducks set up in the gun. Brown back to throw. And Brown's going to get the first down. Knocked there we go. At the 20. How about that conversion? Nice job, Let Sam. Let me tell you something. That defense got to be a little discouraged after that play. No question. You can see the guys are hanging their heads a little bit going back to the huddle after giving first up a big 10. play to the quarterback. Ball on the 20 it's first and 10. Line. Ball on the 20-yard line. Might be able to get Ball an option here. here. Option. He laterals the ball. Reminate Alston and with the first the down. And they were lucky that one didn't go for more. No question. And they were not ready for that option play. They had guys running everywhere. Except oh, no, no, no. Oh, right. no. They look like they've never defended the option before. Oh, well, I can just audible into what I really there. want anyway. Shotgun formation. Let's see if they run the draw here. Oregon goes with the ace set here. Red The and they make the stop at the three yard line. A one yard gain by the halfback. Where's my Y? Let's see if we have a speed Oregon option here. Is one of the best teams in the country at getting points once they enter the red zone. You're absolutely right, my friend. This offense knows how to close the deal and put points on the scoreboard. Man. Doo -doo -doo. Brown options right, and now he pitches it. Oh, oh really? Are you kidding me? This defense. is BS. Come on. 
look like the Jeez. Like an antique base or something. You can't do that. This is you total bull. Like they line up at the six. It's first screwed down. by this game on my first drive. Receivers. The halfback with a carry. He's taken down at the 11 yard line. Number 35. Gains about five, five yards on the game. run. That'll All bring up one. second down. Second From their own 11 yard All line. The 11 yard second line. down. Washington State comes out in the shotgun. They'll give it off here. There we go. Nice job, 40. This is what you call a run blitz. He is quickly penetrate and disrupt the running back, not allowing him to follow his blockers. Here the defense does a good job and comes up with a nice stop. Number 17 comes to the line with three wide. Drops back to pass. Yeah, hit him as he threw. That's how you play defense, boys. Three and out after that incompletion. Let's see if we can get a score on this possession now. We'll see the punt team. Blunt is waiting for the snap. He punts it. Calls for the fair catch. Time once again for this offense to come back out and start another drive. And they'll take over at midfield. All right, boys. Brown lines up in the shotgun. Oregon goes with the ace set here. Please block for m and Alston, boys. Ah, oh, jeez. That's five yards. Alston gains about five yards on the run. Second they line up at the 47. Oh, the 47. Second down. They're going to give it to me? No. Brown is back in the gun. Yeah, big dog, big dog. All right, we're going to try it again. Please block for Ram and A. Alston. Please block. Another run. Ah, darn it. Yard line. And they pick up two yards. Uh, man, Ozzy's defense is playing their little hearts in I just got to get something going now on these guys, and it will be over. State lines up in a dime defense here. Brown drops the throw. Looks. Throws this one out to the right. Oh, come on, dude. What was that? He just dropped it, coach. Plain and simple. That was an abominable drop. Oh, I'm going for this one. Yeah, I'm not sure what it means, but it just sounds bad. <laughs> so it's fourth down, and the offense is still on the field. Oregon lines up in a shotgun set. They'll throw for it. Looks. And Sam Brown's going to get it. First down. There we go. For the quarterback. I'll tell you what, guys, this guy's pretty athletic. Just like you when you played at the old Buckeye Stadium. I don't think this was a design play, but it worked like it was. And you're right. If I'm the coach, I'd let this kid run it more. Yeah. You know Oregon lines up with three receivers. Six DBs in the lineup. All right. You get in your spot, bro. Brown drops back on first down. Let's it fly. Oh, just you moron. You had a touchdown. You just thrown it in bounds. Make it second down. Let's see if we can get Jay Will going here. Second down, 10 yards to go. Ball on the 35 yard line. The Ducks are lining up with three receivers. Drops back to pass. Oh, it was almost picked. Jeez. Same result after that throw. They just can't complete one. Man, third they'll line two. up at the 35. It's third down. The Ducks line up with three wide. I don't Four trust. Receivers in the formation. I don't trust that look. 391. He drops back. Looking. 
Looks like he's going to run. First down, Brown. Sam Brown. There we go. And a big gain on the quarterback scramble. Easy play there. The receivers run the defenders off, and all the quarterback has to do is right, run to the vacant spot. Oh, there we go. The and don't forget about the awareness of the quarterback recognizing. All the right, we might have an outside run here. Downfield. It's a direct snap. There we go. The Good run. The 14. Alston picks up about seven yards on the run. Have a look at our Old Spice do, Red Zone do, 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 Red Zone, do, do, do. when performance matters most. Yeah, I don't like. Brown comes to the line with three wide. They're in the red zone after coughing up the ball on their last trip down here. Blocking five. Brown. Jeez, no one blocked. Loss of one there for the halfback. Washington State has definitely struggled a bit on defense this year. Everyone has been moving the ball up and down the field on them. They really need to stop missing tackles. Yeah, they've had more problems than that, Coach. It's really <sighs> put a lot of pressure on their offense to try to win the game. Brown drops back to pass. Gee, why is he stuck? Why? What the hell is going on on offense? Contain, That's the only way you can shut down a guy with four twos. We have to go for a field goal at this point. Defense stuck him early and gave him no room to work with. And you know what? It's a good thing they played it as well as they did because there's just no way you could take the angle of this guy when he hits the sideline. It's up. There we go, 3-0. attack on three points. And here's the Pontiac drive summary. The kicker looks like he's ready to kick this one off. Boom. He sends it downfield. Gibson takes it at the four. Can't wrap him up. And now we'll see the offense come out onto the field for their next possession. They'll go to work at the 24. They'll, They'll take over, over at the 24-yard line. First, First and 10. ten. Washington State comes to the line with three wide. Hot. It goes straight to the back. Makes a move. Jeez. At the 35. On defense, it's all about instincts. It didn't look like their instincts worked too well on that play. <laughs> You're right, Lee. There was a lot of running room there. Washington State comes to the line, only one man in the back. Oh, come on, on people. With a tailback for 35, number 35. With gets about four yards on the, play. Four on the play. It's second, second and six. six. Ball on the 39. 39 yard line. Washington State goes with the ace set here. He gets another carry. Tries to juke. They'll bring him down at the 42. Number 35 gets three yards on the carry. Come on, D. It's going to stop here. Third down and three coming up. Two yard line. They line up in the jumbo set. Play action. Across the middle. His receiver Jeez. has it. Long with a takedown at the 39. And a nice pick up there. I'll tell you what, the defense gambled a bit here and came with the blitz. And the quarterback showed tremendous poise by making a good read and delivered a nice ball to the open man. Set. Number 35, alone in the backfield. Hot. Look at the throw. He's looking for his man, catches it. Jeez. And he's tackled at the 26-yard line. And they're building some great momentum on this drive, guys. That's right, Brad. That was a crisp pass right. by the quarterback, and they're looking pretty good moving the ball right now. Three wide outs here. Drops back to pass, stepping up, tosses short, knocked out of bounds at the 26. Nothing gained on the play. Second From the 26-yard line. On the 20 Second down. Yard line. Washington State yeah. comes to the line. Only one man in the backfield. Oh. Inside give. Boy, tackles him at the 22-yard line. On the he carry. carries the ball for Game three, four, maybe four yards. One. Come on, dude. you got to hold the field goal. Ball on the 22-yard line. They'll throw again. Defense hasn't stopped them yet. 
There we go. Fourth down. Field goal attempt is a win for Mike. Give props to the D here for coming up with a big stop on third down. Washington State is down three and looking to tie it up. <laughs> we stopped the field goal attempt, tackled the holder, and then tackled the kicker. Or maybe it was the other way around. Ah, whichever one. We tackled them both. See if we can get Hall down the sideline. The Ducks come out showing three wide. Brown on the option. There you go, Alston. Oh, he got tattooed on that one. Oh, man. What a hit. He just took his head off. Not only did he nail him short of the first, but that might have been the hardest hit of the day. The Ducks come out in a shotgun. Dog, Oregon goes with the ace set here. Please block for Remine, boys. Come on. He just wants to give you guys a win. Alston gets the call. There we go, Remine. Great run. How about that run by this halfback? You know what? When this offense can run the ball like this, watch out. They can score quickly. Watch out is right because now you got to worry about the run and the pass on defense. Oregon comes to the line with three wide. All right. Do 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 do. Brown drops back on first down. Na 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 na. It's tipped. Really? Are you kidding me, Jay? Will? Not a good decision there. Why do you even throw that pass? Well, it's a good oh my job gosh! Sitting back and reading the quarterback. My size. offense good is playing like Donkey Dude. That was well. the perfect play call, he and he underthrew it. Every game. And he managed to tip it and come back for it. That never happens in this game. At least never when I'm playing. Wow, I can't believe the crap that's going on this game. They come out with three wide receivers. Uh, Missed tackle. Here he goes. Really? Across midfield. Wow. With only one man to beat. We were watching them in practice, and let me tell you, I don't know how many times they ran this play right there against the first team defense and got huge, and I mean. Huge yard. Yeah, you're right, coach. It's one of their favorite plays, and you can see why right there. They'll line it up with four wide receivers. He'll dump it short. Caught. Boom. Oh, come on. And they make the stop at the 31 yard line. How about that? End play? of the first quarter. I'm up 3 0 despite my two nice turnovers. Throw. And we've come to the end of the first quarter with the score Oregon 3, second Washington second. State nothing. Ball on the 31 it's second yard down. Line. Number 35, the lone back, tries to juke. He's taken down at the 25-yard line. The running back gives him six on the ground. Six on the play. Third, Third down. Inches. Number 35 lines up as a single back. It's the tailback. He jukes. He got it. At the 24-yard line. And they get enough on the ground for the first. It's first and ten. Man, playing like crap today. I just got to get in some kind of rhythm on offense, and I'll burn these guys oh, forever. Line up with three wide. Throws it. Ward with a takedown. Number and the 21. On the they get three yards on the play. Three yard gain on the play. It's second, second and seven. seven. Ball on the 21-yard line. Hold them to a field goal again. That would be fantastic. The Cougars are lining up with three receivers. Here's the give. A little juke. Jeez. Gosh darn it. That run, they pick up another first. I'm guessing so wrong. They're doing a good job of neutralizing the defensive front. And it's allowed them to move the ball down the field. D-line is making some adjustments. He drops back. Moves up in the pocket. Rose. There we go. Good job, boy. Tackle. Nice little pattern there. Yeah, he had great position there. And that ball was thrown in the right spot. 
Well, Lee, it's their first trip to the red zone today, and they haven't really done very well so far this season. Yeah, but my friend, today is a new day. Let's see if they can get it across the goal line and light up the scoreboard. Gives it off. Yeah, oh, thank God. 97 got off his block. Otherwise, that would have been a score. They'll line it up again on third down. Seven yard line. One man backfield. On play action. Number 17. Unload. Intercepted by TJ Ward. And he's going to take it all the way. Bye. See ya. Defense gets on the board. There we go. 99 yard pick six for TJ Ward. Yeah, but how about the play by the defender? Wow, he almost stumbled too right there. Wow. Beautiful. They'll line up for the extra right. point here. We're up 10 to 0. My offense hasn't scored a touchdown yet. He splits the uprights with the extra point. And it looks like they're ready for the kickoff. Boom! He sends it off. Ricks fields it at the two. Can't wrap him up. All that work and nothing to show for their last drive. Yeah, but these are tough kids, physically and mentally. I wouldn't be Come surprised on, guys. to see them put Get my offense the ball back. And get some points this time. The Cougs line up with three wide. Oh, bring him gosh, down. good job, boy. Number 35 gains about five yards on the run. Second and five. Ball, and five. Ball on the 24-yard line. Yard line. Washington State comes to the line. Only one man in the backfield. Give to the tailback. Jeez, they're just running all over me right now. And I believe that run right there puts him over the century mark. It sure did, and he is really running hard today. This guy has great vision when it comes to finding open space and running through it. First and ten. Ball on their own. Only have one yard passing so far. That's insane. Single set backfield. Here's a counter play. Jeez, how are they just calling all the perfect plays? Picked up big yards there, and he's going to have a first down. Yeah, nice job there. This guy does a good job in reading his blocks and accelerating through the holes. Washington State goes with the ace set here. Nice, number five gets the quarterback. On the carry, loss of four on the play. There we go. 14 coming up here. All on the road 43. The Cougs come out in the ace formation. Play fake. He's looking. He lets it go. It's complete. That was a good completion there. Yeah, I really liked the good, clean routes they ran on that play. Come on, defense. Let's get him off the field. Third down. Number 35 alone in the backfield. He's looking to pass. He passes it. Oh, really? You got to be kidding me. And he's that all is the way BS. Down the and guys, you can just feel the momentum building with this drive. That's their third first down on this drive alone, Coach. Yep. We all know how important momentum is in college football. This defense I called the right play, and he just perfectly lobbed the back. ball in. And we take a quick look at the stats. Unbelievable. The red zone. Brought to you by Old Spice Red Zone when performance matters most. They're in the red zone, so this quarterback better be smart. Last time, he threw a pick down here. There we go, Forty. Good job. This is a heads-up play by the linebacker. He's playing run and had his eyes on the guy carrying the football from the get-go. Good defensive play. Here's the eighth play of the series. This defense is in the dime. Drops back to pass. 
Across the middle, it's complete. Yes. And he's tackled at the eight yard line. Superb effort by the receiver to come down with that ball. Uh, this comes down to the Third timing the between three. the quarterback ball and the receiver. Ball. And the result, again, a nice play for the offense. Number 17 with three wide receivers. Oh, There's a missed tackle. Yeah! Oh, no! Come on, Boyd! You're an All-American! Make that play! They're really having some trouble stopping this kid on this drive. Well, guys, the offense is just winning the battle up front. Jeez, I cannot believe the crap that is happening in this game. I know it's a road game in the Pac-10, but still, come on. And, of course, they get in. Nice run and a score. Like I ever I pitched shutouts nice in this game. By the coach there. Just give it to your main man anytime you're near the goal line. Jeez. Here's the try for the extra point. Then again, my defense already has a score of its own, so this just negates that. He makes the PAT. And now we're gonna take a look at the I get my offense on track it. though. Washington State lines up for the kickoff. He kicks it off. Thurman takes it at the four. And there's a fumble. Really? Number you five. gotta be kidding me! What the hell is going on? Yeah, the ball carrier just didn't do a good job of protecting the ball. This defense First took advantage down. of it. My team is literally playing the lose. They're just turning the ball over willy-nilly. Washington State. It's like the gravy man's the bad receiver. game is like come to me or something. Jeez. At the 23 yard line. Nothing going on that carry. No gain on the play. Second it's second and ten. Ball on the, ball on the 23 yard line. The Cougs come out showing three wide. I got a pick and a lost fumble by Alston. And I got a fumble on the kickoff return by Thurman. Who else wants to turn it over today? They line up at the 22. It's third and nine. They come out with four wide out. Back to pass. Surveys the field. He gets the pass. There we go. Fourth down. At the 21 yard line. Oh boy. Okay. Hopefully your injury is a short lived one. I didn't see what happened on the play. But you can only hope that this but guy I do have some good backup linebackers, back so I game. should be fine. Fourth and eight. So the kicking Ball team is on the field. Yard He'll try for three. Last time these guys attempted a field goal, they didn't even can get it off. It up if he makes it. Blocked! Yeah! And Walter and Thurman picks it up, and he's and going all the way! Yeah! To the 10. Yeah! Right oh my gosh! He just shot and got Walter Thurman makes up for his fumble defense. by picking up a block kick and taking it to the house. Wow! Wow! That is unbelievable. My defense has outscored right. these guys. For the PAT. Wow! Boom, 17 to and 7. The PAT. Over four minutes remain in the second quarter, and our score is Oregon 17, Washington State 7. <whistles> Oregon to kick. My defense keeps scoring. My offense may never see the ball again. Ricks from his own end zone. The last time they had the ball, they gave it away on the fumble. The old ball coach was not too happy about that either. I'd hate to see that. Ah, uh, Boyd's out for the game. At least it's just the game, not longer. First and ten. Going with the shotgun here. Give to the tailback. A little jump. Oh, there we go. With a takedown at the 24-yard line. He carries the ball for three, maybe four yards from their own 24-yard line. It's second down, six yards to go. The Cougs line up with a single set backfield. He'll get it again. He's taken down at the number 27. 35. Number 35 gets three yards three on, the yard gain on the play. Third line Come on, D, let's get a stop here. Third down. 
three wide outs here. Down the middle. Ah, darn it. And he's Come on, guys. The -yard line. Pretty good looking first down there, Kirk. Well, it was third down, so they obviously had to get to the six, and they did just that with this little pass play. Number 35, the lone back. They hand it off again. There we Martin go. Brings him down at the 36 yard line. The, the back gets three on the carry. On the play. From their own 36 yard line. On the 36 in second yard down. Line. Four wide receivers in the formation. He throws it. His receiver has Jeez. it. Come on, people. Defend a play for once in your life. Yeah, but the offensive line did a good job of picking up their assignments. And that gave the quarterback enough time to throw a nice pass to pick up the first down. He took it. There we go. He's tackled at midfield. Nice. Number 35 picks up a yard on the play. One yard gain on the play. Second down. And nine. Ball on the 50 yard line. The Cougars with four receivers. Hands it off. There you go, Martin. Martin with a takedown at the 44-yard line. The ball About six yards on the play. Eight of six on the play. Third Here's a third and three. Ball, ball on the 44-yard line. line. They're packed in tight on the line. Come on, guys. Get a stop. Hot to the right. Can he get to the sticks? No! Fourth down. Give me the ball back. It's about a yard on the play. Fourth and two. The Cougars line up the front. Blunt awaits the snap. He punts it away. It's a high kick. And he muffed it. Oh, thank God Martin recovered you know, that. that. And Brad, any time a player muffs a return yard. like that, it sticks around in the back of his mind. The you Oregon need to just forget about it and move on. Yard First down. First they come out with three wide receivers. Hold on, lift. He looks to throw on first down. Looks. And he's throwing. There we he's go. Down Bye. See you later, Brickulator. Finally, I score a touchdown on offense. Touchdown. The there we go. His number call on the pass play and came through with a score. Well, this is what separates good backs from great ones. You have to have the ability to contribute to the passing game. Boom. 24-7. converts the extra point. Though so with less than two to go in the second quarter, our score is Oregon 24, Washington State 7. And it looks like they're ready for the kickoff. He kicks it off. Ricks fields it in the end zone. Boom! There we and go. A slight break in the action as the offense comes out onto the field for their next possession. Here are the offensive production. Yeah, considering how long they've been on the field and all the Cole yards Cole. they've given up, my D's actually playing pretty well. Number 35 lines up as a single back. Oh, geez. Washington State will take their first time out of the half. Come on, D. From their own 28 Gotta get off line. the field. It's second and four to go. Four, Trips right. Left. He drops back, steps up, wants to throw outside. Jeez. What a tackle. That was going to be a touchdown. What did you see there, guys? The defense was in zone coverage. The offense did a good job of protecting the quarterback, and he threw a nice ball to get the first down. And the receiver ran a nice route to get out between the zone coverage. Oops. He throws it, has it to the senior. Jeez. Okay, I screwed that play up. At the 38-yard line. That's a first down right there. Yeah, if I was the defense, I think I would man up on these guys next time. This quarterback is very good at recognizing zone coverage and then finding the open receiver. The Ducks line up in a nickel back. He lets it go. Oh, and my God. Hook up oh, okay, thank you. Was the intended receiver on the play. That'll make it second down. Second so and it's ten. second and ten. Ball on the 38-yard line. Number 35, alone in the backfield. Gives to the tailback. 
Really? Wow, this is BS. They just keep marching up and down the field on me. They've got a decent drive going here. Yep, the offense is doing exactly what they have to do. Move the sticks. The Cougs line up with a single setback. Yeah, good sack by 98. No, 99, Gibbs. Think that's his ninth sack of the year? Yeah. Good job, Gibbs. A minute left in the half. The Cougars take a timeout, and they'll have one timeout left. They line up at the 30. Second down. 30 yard line. One man backfield. Nice play fake. He delivers. He touchdown. They made that touchdown look really, really easy, Coach. And that's what you get when you practice hard all week long. Practice makes perfect, my friend. And that was as close to perfect as you will get. Well, I got enough time to go score on them. He splits the uprights with the extra point. Less than a minute remains in the second quarter, and our score is Oregon 24, Washington State 14. Blunt looks ready to kick this one off. And it's off. Number 89 takes it at the four. They're ready to start another drive, hoping to duplicate the results of the last one, which ended in a touchdown. Those Jay Will's been invisible today. Let's 20 see 20 if we can get him a going. Or ten. maybe we just get Oregon changing their play. Drop back to pass. He looks. That's a backward pass. Really? Come on. <laughs> what kind of bull is this? That was a heck of a play. Oh my god. Sure was, Kirk. It's not too often those big linemen get their hands on a football. Oh gosh. Anything that can go wrong for me has on offense today. I should have just gone back to that Ty Hall play. I, I'm going to have to abuse that play in the Take second out half. With three wide receivers. They'll throw on first down. Let's it go. And it's caught. Spins up the field. Jeez, what, what kind of miracle out. worker is this guy? We're in the red zone. Oh my goodness. By Old Spice Red Zone. When performance matters most. Number 35 is the single setback. It's there the we go. Nice tip. And he makes a spectacular play in the end zone. Keep an eye out for this cornerback. It's going to be interesting to see if they continue to throw the third ball in his one. direction. We've got third down and one. Ball on the four-yard line. The Cougar line up with three wide. Back to pass. He's looking. He's oh, nice. Number 40. Man, did you ever get hit that hard, Kirk? You bet. I just cringe when I see hits like that on the quarterback. It's a lot safer up here in the booth, that's for sure. Fourth down. This will be a 26-yard field goal attempt. Sanders can bring his team back within a touchdown. The Cougars call for a timeout, and now they got no timeouts left. The field goal unit's out on the field, and they're going to try to get these guys three points before halftime. Oh, I blocked the first Sanders two. Can make this a one-possession game with this kick. It's yeah, he got this one, though. And the field goal is good. And now we'll take a look at the Pontiac drive summary. Jeez. And it looks like they're ready for the kickoff. He kicks it off. Thurman fields it at the three. All right. Half time, I'm ahead 24-17 by the grace of God. Got four turnovers, but my defense returned. Well, my defense picked well, off two passes, here. returned one 99 yards day, for a score, score, and they blocked two 24, punts. Or not Washington two punts, State, they blocked two 17. field goals, returning one of them 73 yards for a score. And that is literally the difference in the game right now because my offense sucks. I've been out gained 343 to 156 in yards. They've outran me 131 to 76. Out passed me 212 to 80. And they're 5 of 11 on third downs to my 2 of 4. I've converted my 1 fourth down. Yeah, it's just an ugly game all around. 3 of 7 for 80 yards, a score and a pick for Sam Brown, who also has four carries for 32 yards and a fumble. 
Alston is 10 for 44 yards, no scores. Ty Hall is a 79-yard reception, and that's it. That is it. I got to get my star receivers going in the second half if I can. The Washington State. Got the They're running back and the quarterback, of course, are doing good. In the second half. He sends it off. Thurman has it at the five. So before the offense hits the field, let's take the time to let you know that our game is brought to you by EA Sports. Okay. We'll go to work at the 22. We'll start the drive at the 22-yard line. First and 10. We're going to have an outside Washington run. State brings in the nickel here. They snap it to the back. There we go, Alston. Nice run. And they make the stop at the 37-yard line. And that one goes for a big, big first down. You know, every time you run the ball successfully like that, that defense starts to creep up a little bit. That's when you go to the air, my friend. First, first and 10. Over the top. Ball on the 37 yard We've got a first and 10. Ball on their own 37. All right, we're going to try and hit 89 on this set. play. He's blinking, and they have the defense kind of geared over to the left. More towards Jay Will. Back to pass. Well, why? Why, why did you do that? I did not tell him to turn line. back inside like That'll that. A two -yard this, yeah, screw you, man. I'm not going to do that. From their own 35 yard line, it's second down. Yeah, Oregon comes to the line up. with three wide. Probably going to scramble behind Ty Hall. He drops back, rolls to the left, looks. He's taken off. Jeez. And he's level at the 41-yard line. Six yards on the play. Third We've got a third and six. six. Ball, ball, ball on the 41-yard line. line. The Ducks come out showing three wide. back looking he's rolling right he's going right there we go good job 89, he's about 89. 38 yard line. you know it's really easy to overlook those guys on the line yeah the defense came after them and those linemen held them long enough for the quarterback to throw for a first down first and first ten. down 10 to go on the 38, Ball on the 38 yard, line. yard line Brown comes to the line with three wide. Throws in a hurry. Jeez. No, no, where'd my blocker go? He went running down the field. Didn't pick up a single guy. He's screwing Jay Will's stats right now. Jeez. I hate the way my offense is playing right now. The Cougar bring in the nickel package. Goal 32. Jeez. Trent brings him down at the 39 yard line. Alston picks up a yard on the play. Jeez. The defense will try to stop this third down. Unsuccessful the first time on this drive. Brown lines up in the shotgun. Looking to stay perfect on this drive. Good, good job, Jay Will. Way to come up with the catch. Ah, oh, I got another injury. Hopefully, yours is short-lived. Some coaches want to say mind over matter, but if you're hurt, you're hurt. Simple as that. Nothing you can do about it. Finally, Jay Will makes a play, though. And since we're in the red zone, let's have a look at the numbers. Brought to you by Old Spice Red Zone. When performance matters most. The defense looks confident as they held him to a field goal on their last red zone trip. Cut. 
They'll throw again. Defense has it. There we go. Touchdown, Touchdown J. Will. There we go. No, I don't think too many guys anywhere have caught this many passes. He's just tied the school record for the most receptions in a career. And I'll tell you what, he's so difficult to defend. He's got the speed to run by you and the route running ability to get away from defenders and create space. He, my friends, is the complete package. Boom, there we go. He makes the PA. Good drive to open the second half. The Pontiac drive summary. Oregon, ready to kick this one off. He sends this one deep. Gibson fields it in the end zone. Oh, there we go. Time once again for this offense to come back out and start another drive. Come on, D. Let's get a stop. They'll throw on first down. He rifles it. Oh, no, you don't. And it's incomplete. No catch for you, buddy. That's how you make someone drop the football. Let them know you're there, and then, wow, put your pads on them. That's the way you make it hard to catch the ball. Okay, so I'll have my left guard back soon. If not by the end of the game, then the next game for sure. There you go. Number 35 picks up two yards with the carry. Come on, D. We've got to get a stop here. Washington State lines up with three receivers. Look at the throw. Steps up in the pocket. Hit as he throws. And he's finally shot. No way. So he drags his feet and picks up the first down. I am challenging that. He was way out of bounds. There's no way. That looked like he was out to my live eyes. That's out of bounds. That is out of bounds. Yeah, you got to be kidding me. You got to be kidding me. I got screwed out of that challenge. First, First down, down, 10 yards ball, to go. Such bull crap. Number 17 with three wide receivers. It's the tailback. Jets one tackler. Jeez. At the 44. On the number 35. Picks up about seven yards on the run. So that'll make it second down. From the 44 yard line. Second and three coming up. They come out with a big set. On play action. Yeah, there we go. And this one falls incomplete. Just out of reach of his tight end. Oh, yeah. Third the offense three. bases another third Ball down the as they line it up. Yard. And everyone in the stadium knows who should get the ball in short yardage situations. Breaks one. Really? Oh my god. I, I know he's an impact player, but come on. One for the first down, coach. Yeah, they had it behind the line of scrimmage, but they couldn't wrap him up. That was a big play, too, because it would have been fourth down. He drops back. He's looking. Moves up in the pocket. Really? Oh, you got it. Got receiver. Are you kidding me? The defense was coming what is going on? Yep, yeah, the offensive line did a good job of picking up their assignment. Why is this playing like they're USC? I'm not nice kidding. Pass. These guys are Pick playing like down. way better than what they actually are. In the backfield. He jukes. Jeez. And down he goes. And for 12. They'll grab 10 yards there. Man, these guys just look at our old Spice Red Zone numbers. Red Zone, when performance matters most. Easy call here. Give it to the playmaker. Oh, yeah, there you go. Not a way to get your hand up. How's that for an easy call? You can plays when you're in that defensive end position. Especially when your head's up. And in that case, hands up. The Cougars line up with a single set back to you. Play fake, number seven. Intercepted. And it's picked off from the tip. 
What a play. He just leaped up. Yeah. And took it off. He showed some great patience there. Defense coming up with another turnover. No. You are not celebrating that. All right. Defense gives up all those yards and then forces a turnover. Oregon comes to the line with three wide. The Dully with four receivers. Well, get out there, Hall. You know what you need to do. Drops back on first down. He looks looking long. Oh, he caught him. That's what we needed. And he goes over a hundred on the day with that reception. If you can get open and hold on to the passes, chances are you're gonna have a good game. And that's exactly what this guy's been able to do today. First from the 32 yard line. First down. Oh, they're going to Jay Will's side. Oregon comes out in the shotgun. <sighs> okay. Brown drops back on first down. There we go. Finally turned the right way. Good and job, buddy. At the 14. I'll tell you, this receiver showed really good hands on that play. This kid is always calling for the ball. And if he keeps making plays like that, hmm. he'll continue to get the ball. And since we're in the red zone, let's have a look at the numbers. Brought to you by Old Spice Red Zone. When performance matters most. Swings it out to his man on the screen. And there's Jay Will again. Touchdown number two. This guy is alone in the number one spot now. He just broke the school record. There we go. Hey, Kirk, he's like one of those big old butterfly nets. He just catches everything around him. My hat's off to this guy. He plays at a level very few can. Congratulations. They'll line up for the extra point. And he hits 38 the 17, That's just like that. To our Pontiac drive summary. All right, it's on now. I'm going to pile it on you guys if I can because the looks like you should never have been this in this game off. in the first half. Boom. And this is just a booming kick. Gibson fields it in the end zone. This defense did a nice job last time around, forcing the interception. And now they find out how much faith they got in this kid. Do they the run Washington the football State or they Cougars let her rip? will start the drive at the 22-yard line. Washington State lines up with three receivers. Nice. There we go, D. Tackles him for a loss on the play. Good effort by the linebacker to come up and make the play. From their own 20-yard line. Second and 12 coming up here. Number 17 comes to the line. Oh, fumble, fumble! Oh, that's a fumble. Can't even get a pass with him off. That'll make it third down. You gotta be kidding me. They line up at the 20. Ball it's third down. Number 17 with three wide receivers. Come on, D. Look at the throw. He unloads it. Jeez. It Ward with a takedown at the 42-yard line. The defense looked a little lost on that one, Kirk. And they did, Brad. Nice recognition here by the quarterback to see that confusion and then take advantage of it. First and 10. Ball on the 42-yard line. Number 17 has four receivers lined up here. Looks to pass. He throws. Complete. He breaks Jeez. it. They'll bring him down at the 47-yard line. You know, it's really easy to overlook those guys on the line. Yeah, the defense came after them, and those linemen held them long enough for the quarterback to throw for a first down. The Cougars line up with a single set backfield. Which is right. And now he's going to throw it. Oh, oh it should have been picked. So they try the trick play, Number but a dangerous pass was almost intercepted. And I don't know if they'll ask him to throw for a while. Second and ten. So it's second and ten. All, 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 all right. Seven. Yard line. Number 35 is the single setback. A 
the misdirection. There we go. Forty got off his block enough. The running back gets two on the carry. So another third down. Come on, D. Washington State comes to the line. Only one man in the backfield. He steps up, throws it out there. Yeah, there we go, D. This one will finally. Complete. That's a fantastic defensive effort. Yeah, the there we go. Prevented them from getting the any yards. And now the it's fourth down. Thurman is back deep to return. He punts this one high in the air. Thurman calls for the fair catch. Let's see if this defense has trouble fair defending the pass again the here. They do, run. my friend. Look out. They're going to give up another touchdown. The Oregon in a hurry. Take over. At the first down, 10 yards. Yard Come on, guys. Block for Remine. The Ducks come out of the ace formation. Alston takes it there up. There you go. Way. That's like four Trent yards. Tackles him at the 17. Alston gains about four yards on the play. From their own 17-yard line. In second down, six yards to go. Brown with four uh, wide like receivers. Loud right. Jeez. No one wants to block for Remini well today. Hey, that linebacker made a nice play. But what about all those big guys up front on the defensive right, line? They're good too, six. boys. Well, they created all the play the this time. Too. The offensive line is so concerned with their penetrating abilities right. that these linebackers are able to roam free and make plays like that. That's a pretty weak defense, Chant. Set to go to the air. He rolls out to the right. He's going to take off. There you go, Sam Brown. Way a to run that ball. That quarterback scramble. Boy, defensive breakdown here. Good defense. They had everybody covered, but they left the quarterback with a lot of running room. The key word is but. Good defense, but. You got to keep your eye on that kid. Ball on the 37. It's first and 10. Ball on the 37. Pass. Come on, Jay Will, get this one. Yeah, there we go. On the run. The wide out comes Good job, up Jay Will. Spectacular play. Yeah, and if I'm the coach, I put a big circle around that play so I can remember to call that one again. Good call. First, first and ten. Ball on the 22 yard line. The offense lines up with three wide receivers. Okay, here we go. We got this. Hot. Brown drops back on first down. Yeah, and you're going to the end zone. Touchdown, there we go. Oregon. Guys, the coaches have we... got to be happy with that one. Yeah, you know they are. Anytime a play works to perfection like that one did, you know they're smiling. Just watching this receiver and quarterback play together is a treat. They're a great combo. They line up for the extra point. Boom. He splits the uprights with the extra point. So with less than two to go in the third quarter, our score, Oregon, 45, Washington State, 17. Number 24 gets set to kick this one away. Sends it sailing downfield. Gibson fields it in the end zone. They're just about ready to get this drive started. After their last series had some promise, but it ended with a punt. Well, 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 I scored three straight touchdowns to open the third, so this is pretty much over. Number 35 lines up as a single back. With a takedown, the 21. The run. Maybe a yard, yard on that draw on play. play. It's second, second down. Nine. Ball on the 21-yard line. 
Number 35, alone in the backfield. He's looking for his man. The ball tipped. is tipped. There we go. Almost had it, but it's incomplete. Way to keep your head on a swivel, kid. That was a nice job of locating the football and knocking it down to prevent the completion. Sure was, Coach. He put himself in great position to make a play. That'll make it third down. Washington State comes to the line with three wide. Drops back to pass. Stepping up, looking, throws back across field. Oh, thank God. Fourth down. Well, that was an impressive stand by the defense. Three good defensive plays equals punt. Nice job, guys. Thurman, the return man. He gets it off. Thurman signals for a fair catch. Guys, their last possession, they really had good success passing the ball. If you ask me, I'd air it out some more. Lee, I agree. Make them show you that they can stop it before you change things up. They'll take over. They'll set up shot at the 33. First and 10. Oregon lines up with a shotgun set. Option left. Lattles back. There you go, Austin. Make the move. He's there we go. At the 48-yard line. What a play. Just a simple option play here. The quarterback gives it up, and they get good yardage. Great play. Boy, I tell you, this is impressive to see this Sorry, offense. Sorry, Jay Will. I'm going to see if I can get Austin over 100 yards. Here's a look at the offensive production statistics brought to you by Coca-Cola. Yeah, I'm going off on offense in this quarter. Brown is back in the gun. to the back. Ooh, there we go. He's taken down at the four. Good job, Austin. About seven yards on that carry. Second, Second down, three. three yards to go. All on the 41-yard yard line. line. The Ducks Bulldog, come out showing left. three wide. Throws it. Someone got a hand on it. Oh, you got to be careful throwing point. into coverage like that. Well, Coach, I don't think it was a poor decision. It was just a great reaction by the man in coverage. Yeah. That'll bring up third down. Thought I had more space Heading than that, but that's okay. 45 well 17 in. neat the With end of the, the third. Sword, Oregon 45, Washington State 17. They line up at the 41. Ball on third and three. One yard line. Oregon comes out in the shotgun. I don't trust that look. I don't trust it. I do trust this. It's a pass on third and short. He looks. He takes off. Sam Brown. And they finally knock him out at the 11-yard line. And that was a spectacular run by the quarterback. You know what? When that quarterback saw all that open field in front of him, he went, <laughs> gone. Gone is right. I didn't hear him whistle, but it was certainly a big run. Hopefully I have enough outside room with Alston to get in the end zone. And the snap goes to the back. And oh, really? Again? Really? That's twice today Alston stumbled the ball away. Oh, yeah. All right, yep, he's done. I I'm done with Alston today. Sorry, Austin, but you fumbled twice and you got no scores. I got to put in the backups. Maybe next time. They'll start this drive at the 14-yard line. First and 10. Washington State comes to the line with three wide. Broke away from one. Oh, get some. Gibbs. It's a Gibbs. Tackles him behind the line for a loss on the play. On the carry. Three yard loss. That was amazing. Man, who was supposed to block Ooh. that guy? I don't think it matters, Kurt. He's playing with reckless abandon out there. It's got to be hard to block a guy that hits like that. Second, Second down. Team. The defense lines up in a dime. Flips it. Oh, good this job, Mark. Incomplete. 
quarterback really took a shot. Oh, real come on. They're going to call it roughing the passer, really? Roughing the passer. Jeez. So they'll move them back after the penalty. I bet that one has the fans steaming. Well, that wasn't a very bright play by that young man. You can bet that the fans aren't the only ones unhappy. His coaches don't look too happy either. Washington State comes to the line. Only one man in the backfield. They hand it off. A little juke. They'll bring him down at the 35. With the and the offensive line did a good job of picking up the blitz. Yep, the defense over pursued the play, and it helped them get some good yards. The Cougs come out in the ace formation. They're going to pitch it. He's going to try to throw, and it's caught. He's tackled at the 40. Nice decision by the quarterback. Not only was it good decision making, but the offensive line protected <sighs> just long enough for him to find his target. And when you combine the two, it'll be a first down nine out of ten times. Washington State goes with the ace set here. Hand off to the right. He's got an opening. Brought down Come on, people. at the 48. And that's their third first down of the drive. Great blocking and great running equals. Very successful offense. And they've looked really good on this drive, Coach. The defense needs to figure out a way to stop them, or else they're going to have no problem putting points on the board. Here's the halfback. Jake's off a tackle. Haley Jeez. tackles him at the 46-yard line. The ball Number 35 gains about two yards on the road. That'll make second it second down. down. Ball second and eight coming up here. Yard. Ball on the 46-yard line. Yeah. Number 35 is the single setback. Again with a carry. Tackle at the 42-yard line. For Lee, what do you think of that run? run? Yo, four, is this running back four, having a tremendous four, game or what? Four, you just don't run for over yard 200 line. yards and call it an average day. Ha! Washington State comes sure to the do. line. Only one man in the backfield. Drops back to pass. Over the middle. Intercepted by T.J. Ward for the Here second time today. The interception by the there we go. Oh, man, is there anything they can salvage at this point, Coach? Not much, except yeah. some players <laughs> to get some game experience. This game is over. They'll, They'll go to work the at the 33-yard line. First and 10. Huh. Brown. Is that how you shotgun. feel about it? Brown drops back, looks. Laying it oh, wide Landing. open. Bye. See ya. Wow. The All right, Touchdown, there you go. Oregon. Touchdown there pass is, number guys. five. Touchdown pass number five. Boy, oh boy. I think Sam Brown might be done for the day. Taking this defense apart all game long. Yeah, and that poor defensive coordinator, he can't be happy with the performance of this squad. Boom. And he adds the extra point. Number 24. Actually, before we kick that ball away, let me look at the stats. Let's see. Yep, Sam Brown definitely needs to take a rest. Yep, Alston had a subpar game. Uh, I need to do more work with my receivers. All right, so we'll do, we'll keep my receivers in, but we are going to put Nate Costa in, and then, oh, no, 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 number 14. Yes, and then McCollum. All right. Boom. Here's the kick. Ricks from his own end zone. Juke move. You know who's trembling right now? Well, it's not the defense. They've played well all game. Let's take a look at the offensive production numbers. Brought to you by Coke. Yeah. Number 18 has four receivers lined up. Oh, get leveled get by Harley. Or Haley, how do you say his great name? great defensive the effort there. And let me tell you, the key to that play the was right there in the defensive line. Second they tied this offensive line up of and allowed the linebackers line. to come up and make a big play. Lee, I agree with you. We always talk about the linebackers and safeties, but credit the big guys up front for that play. Here's the give. 
and he's taken down at the 24. Well, guys, I'm looking at the stat sheet, and if this is right, then this back just went over 200 yards with that carry. Boy, he's had quite a day on the ground. It's unbelievable that this team is losing after his performance that he's had up to this point. He is the guy that's going to have to get this team fired up. Jeez, if they want a chance to win this game, people. then he's got to step up, be a leader, and get the rest of his team motivated. First down, 10 yards to go. Ball on the 29-yard line. The Cougars line up with three wide. He looks to throw on first down. Across the middle. Oh. It. How's that not and a fumble? he tackles him hard at the 37-yard line. Nice pickup as they connect on the pass play. But they look to be in sync right now. They're both reading the defense properly, and the result is a nice game. Washington State comes out in the shotgun. Going long. Intercepted by Long. Wow, my what defense is, is just here, amazing. They've just been outplayed and outcoached out there. Despite giving up all those yards, they've forced so many turnovers. Not much else you do and they've got multiple scores. Again next week. Oh, jeez. Right, let's see if we can get Jay Will open. They'll, They'll start at the 25 yard line. First and 10. Oregon comes to the line with three wide. Got it to the senior. There we go. Nice block. And he's got over 100 yards Brought receiving now. Only one man to beat. Got a stat for us, coach. Why does this stat not surprise me? With that catch, his total yards for the day is first over 100. Ball it's first and 10. yard line. The Ducks hmm. come out showing three wide. Yeah. On the goose, on the goose. Do 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 Looking to throw on first down. There we go. Ah, oh, I think With he got the, the first down. Almost. Oh, pretty well. Hey, it's a good job here by the wide receiver to get open. He created good separation from the defense. From the 41-yard line. Ball on the second and one yard line. The Ducks come out in the ace formation. Here's the give. Well, at least Ty Hall Look got a first down. down. The 37 yard line. Picked up a first down on that carry. Yeah, a good job up front by the offensive line. They picked up some nice blocks to allow that back to get in there for some extra yards. First, first and 10. ten. First Ball and ten. On the 37 yard line. The Ducks are lining up with three receivers. Hmm. Drops back to pass. Wants to get it out on the screen. Tackle made there we go. at the 34-yard line. And the completion nets some very little yardage. Coach, what's up with that play? I'll tell you, those defenders crashed in and got him in a hurry. No chance to get anything Second there. And seven. Second and seven coming up here. Ball on the 34-yard line. Costa with four wide receivers. Yeah, All right. Oh, geez. Please block for Ty Hall. He's going to be your starting running back next year, so you better block for him now. Hall oh, up the gut. Oh, He's geez. At the 31. Three yard gain by the running back. Third it's third down and four to go. Ball, Ball on the 31. 31 yard line. Try to change the play. Hot. Looks to pass. Looking. Wow, they really just gonna let Costa go it. for this one. And there they make go. the stop at the 18 yard oh, line. Oh, Costa, Costa looks to have been really? shaking up a bit on that play. Well, let's hope oh, it's here not comes serious, number 14. But his arm's gotta be hurting after a shot like that. 
Good thing I had like five quarterbacks on my roster who are about equal in terms of talent. And since we're in the red zone, let's have a look at the numbers brought to you by Old Spice Red Zone. When performance matters most. They'll be protecting that football after learning the hard way on their last trip to the red zone. They'll throw on first down. All right. And it's the Why? Loss of three. Why? And this play is number eight on the drive. The Ducks with four receivers. It goes straight to the back. First down and by Ty Hall. And remember one thing that this coach said. They will force it down this defense's throat until they prove that they can stop it. First they line it up at the four-yard line. Four line. The Ducks come out in the shotgun. Tackle at the three-yard line. Hall picks up a yard on the play, so that'll make it second down. So they line up on the three-yard line going in. They set up in the shotgun here by the goal line. Keep an eye on the quarterback. I wouldn't be surprised to see a draw here. All right. We're doing just fine with all the backups in. Back to pass. Wants to get it out. And his third of Touch the day. Down. A lot of people are going to see this as running up the score, but I'm sure this coach will tell you he's just running his offense. I don't want to hear it. He knows he can just run the football and get out of here with a win. There is no reason in the world for him throwing touchdown passes at this time of the game. Two minutes remaining in the fourth quarter. And he converts the extra point. And now we'll take a look at the Pontiac drive summary. Oregon lines up for the kickoff. He kicks it off. Scott from his own end zone. They've been getting walloped all day, but at least they're still working hard. I like a team that never quits. Here's a look at the offensive production statistics brought to you by Coca-Cola. Drops back on first down. Flips it. And he can't hang on to it. The Number 89. Nope. With the intended target. That'll bring up second down. The intended receiver on the play. Come on, defense. And 10. Ball on the 11-yard line. Back to pass. He tosses it short. It's oh, nice Ward. hit by Ward. Number at the 15. 16. Makes he the ran a good route there and was able to pick up yards underneath the Coverage. It's okay Third to move the ball five. in small portions ball because it relaxes yard. the offense. It can open things up for the big play. The Cougs line up with a single set back to you. Drops back to pass. Looking. He passes it. Boom. Number 40. It's incomplete. Just it nails the receiver. No down, and now it's decision the time for this offense. The well, the defense did what they had to do so far. They're five. showing a lot of heart out there. A 16-yard line. And they're ready to punt this one away. Thurman is back deep to return the punt. He punts it. Signals for a fair catch. The coach. All right, now let's put our backup receivers in. Hey! 
The offense will start at the 44. Oh, Costa's back in. Hall lines up as a single back. He'll give it off here. Oh, yeah, good run, Hall. And he's taken down at the 43-yard line. I think this offensive line is getting better and better as the game goes along. And, Coach, I'll tell you what, I think they're killing the will of this defense. And I don't think they're done just yet. EA Sports and Coca-Cola. TJ like Ward, 13 tackles and two game. picks, nice including job. the pick six he had for 99 yards. The Ducks come out in a shotgun. Uh, Hall. Nice. And that tackle's going to save them six. Time and time again, you see the team that's winning is usually the team that's able to control the line of scrimmage. Here, they again get a nice push, and the yeah, result buddy. is a solid run. Nice running by Ty Hall. First and, First and ten. ten. Ball on the 21. They line up in the shotgun. Breaks one. There you go, Ty Hall. Right down at the four-yard line. And they move the chains once again. And that's... Oh. And we take a quick look at the stats from within the red zone, brought to you by Old Spice Red Zone when performance matters most. Another trip to the red zone. Last time, it resulted in a touchdown. And the linebacker comes up and makes a big stop. This is textbook. This is how you're supposed to play against the run. Yeah, and that time the defense right, got him to goal. go backwards. Just inside the five. That brings up second and goal. Oregon will have one timeout remaining. Ball is on the four, and they're going in. Three wideouts here. Costa back to throw, and it's caught. He's tackled at the four. Oregon will take their last time out. I'm going to go for the field goal, get 60 points. From the four-yard line, third down now, and goal to go. He gets it up. There we go. 62-17. And now we're going to take a look at the Pontiac drive summary. Oregon ready to kick this one off. And he got all of this one. Great kick. Scott from his own end zone. First and ten. Ball on their own 17. The Washington State Cougars take over at the 17-yard line. First and Number 31, alone in the backfield. On the ground. The Boom. Final score, 62-17. Well, after the rotten first There's half on my drive. part, this I took care of business history. in the Kirk, second half. Here? Well, this is no big surprise. I think we all anticipated a severe beating in this one. Washington State. Me too. I just didn't think it would chance, go the way it did in the first half. I mean, for all intents and purposes, they were outplaying me, and it's just that they had all those turnovers, like and I had the 99-yard pick six and the 73-yard fumble return off a blocked punt or off a blocked field goal. Just an amazing game by my defense. Despite giving up over 500 yards of offense to only give up 17 points and force like bazillion turnovers. Let's see the final stats though. So in the end, I win 62-17. They outgained me in first downs, 26 to 25. I outgained them in yards, 647 to 501. I outran them 264 to 191. Outpassed them 383 to 310. Only got sacked once, sacked them three times. I went seven of nine on third downs. They went nine of 20. I went one of one on fourth downs. They failed their one fourth down conversion attempt. I had five turnovers, which is the most I've had in a game all year. Something I definitely need to clean up, especially four lost fumbles. But my defense, 
Oh, my defense recorded six turnovers, including five interceptions. I think the block punt for a score was one of the turnovers they counted. And blocking two field goals in one game, too. That's pretty impressive by my defense. When we go to the individual stats, Sam Brown went 14 of 19 for 346 yards with five touchdowns and only one interception. And he also had seven carries for 88 yards. Uh, Nate Costa went 4 of 4 for 37 yards, no scores, no picks, and he had a 13 yard rush. Number 14 went 2 of 2 for 0 yards and a touchdown. And then running the ball, Remine Alston had 17 carries for 86 yards and two lost fumbles, which is why I benched him. Ty Hall came in and ran the ball eight times for 77 yards, though, so he had a nice day running the ball. He also had two catches for 127 yards and a score. Jay Will had 10 catches for 119 and three scores. Number 89 had six for 70 and a score. And Emmanuel Perry, my third string running back, had a 67 yard touchdown reception. And then on defense, TJ Ward had 13 tackles and two picks, including the 99 yard pick six that he had. Mar uh, number 40 had nine tackles, three for loss, and a sack, and he also had an interception. Martin had nine tackles. Long had eight tackles and a pick. Haley came in for Boyd and had six tackles, two for loss. Jarius Bird had five tackles and a pick. Brooks had five tackles. Gibbs had four tackles, two for loss and a sack. Boyd had four tackles and a sack before he got hurt. So yeah, it was a uh, balance all around. Tackles for loss everywhere we look. And a lot of interceptions. Long, 40, and Bird each had a pick and Ward had two. Whew, just amazing stuff. And then if we go here... Yeah, we had a block from Martin on that field goal, and then that led to the touchdown by Thurmond. Thurmond and Ward each had a defensive score. And then for Wazoo, number 17 went 22-38 for 292 with one score and four picks. Number 18 went 2-5 for 13 yards and a pick. And Woolridge, their running back, went 1-2 for 5 yards, but also had 43 carries for 212 yards and a score on the ground. And number 15 had 11 catches for 146. And Gibson had 5 for 77 and a score. Rick said 2 for 41. And that's about all she wrote. So with that, we're just going to go ahead to the main menu. And hopefully you guys enjoyed watching me survive a sloppy effort in the first half to blow these guys away in the second half. If you enjoyed watching this video, feel free to subscribe to the channel, check out my other videos, leave your likes and comments down below, and if you haven't already, I would encourage you to check out my Quarter and Joshua TV channels because sometimes I upload content there that you won't find anywhere else on YouTube. And with that, I bid you guys adieu, farewell, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace out!